talk about our kids because they're so much fun. It's so hard not to talk about them. Well, my kid today did so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Rebecca. I know. Talking about your kids is like a necessary outlet to keep you from going mad. For today and they're just uh, fascinating little nuggets. Hello, it's Rebecca Wolf from Girls Gone Child. I read a piece in Elle magazine back in February about, it was called Die, Mommy, Die, and the woman was basically talking about new mothers coming into her work and flapping their yaps, yap, 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 about their kids, their babies, at all times. We're all guilty of it, and I think what I wanted to talk about is like, do you get annoyed with other parents? Do they talk about their kids too much? Like, do you, are you conscious of it? Do you think that maybe you could use, you know, a few lessons in a little yapping? Why do we talk about our kids? Because they're so much fun. It's so hard not to talk about them. It's not as hard now that he's six as it was when he was a baby and I was home with him and he was my whole world. I think we talk way too much about our kids. I myself included, especially when there's so many just monumental things happening in the world today. Instead of like putting our voices into action, I end up talking about my kid. I crave adult interaction, like crave it. I get so mad at myself when I want so badly to be around other like parents or women, adults, and I and I hear myself say even one word about my kids because I'm with them all day long. I don't know why that is, but I think it's because I need somebody to commiserate with when it comes to raising my daughter. Talking about your kids is like a necessary outlet to keep you from going mad. It's the easiest way to talk to another parent, I guess. And even another person, because it's always the first question, how are the kids, and then, well, let me tell you, in 1994, when so-and-so was born, other people can be boring as well, not just parents. I got to hear stories about their plants and failed recipes. I have a friend that doesn't have a kid, and one of the things that she does when we're out together um, is say, party foul. We talk about work, or we talk about kids, she considers it a party foul, and she will call it, and we have to move the conversation on. And I think more moms should do that. I do get what you're saying. Like, it does get to be kind of unbearable, and I'm very sensitive about that, especially with my friends who don't have kids. I definitely had conversations when I realized, oh my god, I just told my friend Jessie all about Henry's diaper rash. She doesn't have kids. She never wants to have kids. She does not want to know about his butt. I'm an intelligent girl. I should be able to carry on intelligent conversations about intelligent things without resorting to, well, my kid today did so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Rebecca. I know. In a lot of ways, I feel like sometimes talking about bigger stuff now that I have a kid becomes too hard because I'm more emotionally invested and it's just, ugh, I get, I get really upset because it's my child's future at stake. I guess for me, I just, I really want to have relationships with people that are not based on the fact that we're both mothers. I want more and I feel like people should be expecting more out of me. So I really hope I can deliver. The conversation is happening now at momversation.com.